This guy. Hey everybody, it's Atlas. Uh, now that um, Character Booster 2, Trinity Dragon, came out, I have updated Great Nature with uh, all the new stuff, and by that I mean I put in like three cards. But you know, it's the principle of the thing that matters. So I am here to give you my updated deck list of if I was to take this to a tournament. So starting, we have Telescope Rabbit as the starter still. Uh, his skill is uh, Axe. You counterblast, rest him, pick something, and give it a dope. Um, a lot of the cards in here give you like pre-GB life insurance, and by that I mean at the end phase you, when it's retired or just at the end phase you draw and retire. So uh, if you don't get the grade two you need, uh, you can give this to artificially dope something, so it's just, it's still useful. It's fine. Um, four copies of Teacher's Cane of Affection Big Belly. It was the creepiest freaking art I have ever seen. He's got like a black eye and a mustache. His mustache looks pretty amazing though. The mustache is too big, man. All right. They can never have a too big mustache. Okay, so his skill is he's got success 25,000 on Vanguard Circle only. What's funny is that nothing connects to him being successful, so it just kind of seems like he has it to have it. I mean, uh, that's what all of the new grade threes do. I guess so. All right, and then uh, his GB2 skill, all of your successful units get plus 4K. I think that's for that. Um, if you have no rear guards, all the cards in your hand get when you're paying for the cost for stride, this card gets grade plus one. So if your field's empty, you can stride with a grade two, which is really neat. Um, I don't find myself using this skill often because I usually, like, inevitably one or two things get left behind. Again, that's fine. Uh, but, like, if you're really, really far behind, like, I'm going to blow the hell out of your field. Okay, cool. I'm going to get a free stride. And then his other skill is when you uh, stride on top of him, you can counterblast one, choose up to one card from the success ability, call it to R, then you choose a rear guard and you may have it get plus 4k, and then at the end of the turn draw a card and retire. So this is like, um, kind of like the original Big Belly that gave stuff on hit. This can give you a guaranteed dope in life insurance. So uh, I find this card a little more useful than the original Big Belly. There is the deck where you run, you know, this and old Big Belly just so you have the name, but honestly this thing just kind of does the job better. So keep it in. Two copies of Horton Here's a Crit, Contradictory Instructor Shell Master, Tusk Master, Wrong Master. Um, so he's got once per turn GB1, when he attacks a Vanguard, you can counterblast one, pick another rear guard, stand it, and it gets plus 4k, and then at the end of the turn, retire that unit. So this thing is just another Crayon Tiger, except without the life insurance. But the important thing is it extends your attacks, and it also works on Vanguard. So if you have to ride him, it's not the worst thing in the world, because. Uh, you have stuff that can artificially give you Big Belly name, and even then you don't need to name that much. So, he's really, really good. Yeah. No need to, no reason to not run him. Four copies of Binoculus Tiger. He came back, man. So, his skill is uh, Vanguard or Rearguard. When he attacks a Vanguard, you can give something a dope. So, plus 4k, and then at the end of the turn, retire. It is pre-GB, it works on the Vanguard circle, and it's pretty much all the early game you have. So, very solid grade two. It's good pretty much any time of the game. Four copies of Crayon Tiger. I'm pretty sure this is like the mascot for Great Nature at this point. So, he's your Amber Clone. Uh, when he's boosted, when he attacks Vanguard, GB1, you can counterblast. Pick a rear guard, re stand, and it gets plus 4k, and at the end of the turn, draw and retire. So, he gives something a dope, and a life insurance, and another attack. Why would you not run this? Um, this pretty much ends up being your finishing field if you have this and the Big Belly Stride. Uh, you know, the thing he restands is going to be the thing you dope with the Big Belly Stride, so it, it just, it's useful pretty much all the time. How many Crayon Tigers would you, would you run if you were not limited? Six. Mm. Probably six. And that's basically what you have now with Tuskmaster. Mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, two copies of Field Glass Otter. So, uh, he's uh, success 20k yeah. and then GB1. When he's called on rear guard, you can pick a rear guard, give it plus 4k, and at the end of the turn, retire. Uh, it has been errated. The original text says when it's called, you have to pick something else and give it, whereas now it's optional and you can give it to anybody. Um, so look it up if you want to. And then the other skill is uh, at the end phase, if he's successful, you can bounce him to your hand. So this is really fun in the early game where you can give him a dope with, um, with Telescope Rabbit, boost with the 7k, then he's successful, then he gets out of the way. 
This is also good for the Link Joker matchup because you can buff him up a bunch and then get your card back without it getting locked next turn. Um, so, yeah, I like him. And then there's uh, also, for the last couple of grade twos, our capable assistant, Guru Wolf. So when he hits Vanguard, if he's a 20k or more, you draw a card. This is also fun for early games. So, like, you'll dope him with... Um, with Telescope Rabbit, and then you attack with uh, Binoculus Tiger, dope him again, and then when you boost to the 7k, that's 24, so they're probably going to let that hit on their 9k Vanguard. So you unhit, you draw a card, and then he dies, and then you draw more cards and search for grade 3s, and just, it's good. They're all good. <laughs> I get overexcited very easily. So that, that was, uh, it, you're probably wondering why there are 12 grade 2s and 6 grade 3s. Well, the main reason is we are running three copies of Honorary Assistant Mike, uh, Mike Saburo, Mike Saburo, whatever you call him, Mike the TA. So when he's called a rear guard, you pick another rear guard and you give it the red text. When it's retired during your end phase, you can search for a grade three and put it in your hand. So this thing combined with four copies of Coiling Duckbill means that you can commit to the field early and just recoup your losses when they die at the end phase. So a lot of hands will be, you're trying to mulligan for these seven. And then you call stuff, put all of the life insurance effects on one card, and then it dies, either by doping from Binoculus Tiger or Telescope Rabbit or what have you. Then you'll like, all right, this dies, I'll search for my, you know, my Big Belly or my Horton, and then draw two cards. So that's a plus two right there. Um, and then on top of that, when your opponent tries to take them out because, you know, oh, rear guard pressure, you don't care. Their, their purpose is done. So very solid grid ones. And then... Four copies of Contradictory Instructor Shellmaster. This is what I was talking about. Um, so he's just the unflippy PG. Uh, we do counterblast a lot in this deck, and I would like a little bit more countercharge, but you know, so far, if you play smart, you'll be fine, but um, it's ju it just important to keep an eye on that damage zone. When we get the uh, unflip G Guard and the heal trigger that can unflip damage, it'll get a little easier, but this is just better. Uh, I have not found, you know, widespread usage of uh, Fine Coat Maltese, so just grab him, he's better. And then lastly, four copies of the Stride Fodder, so search for your Big Belly. There's only six straight threes, so you need to stride as much as you can. Um, you know, just a solid card. And then you can see Big Belly in the background, which is nice. Four copies of Dictionary Goat. Well, I've been around, fellas. Um, so here's your heal trigger. Uh, he's going to get replaced by the unflip heal guy, the one that gets your unflip EG guard, but yay. Uh, four copies of Pond Belly. So, this can allow for some early aggression. It's your Heart Thumb clone, so you can dope him, and then when your Vanguard attacks, just sho uh, shove him in soul and get your draw before he dies. Um, it's got, you know, multiple uses, and then the other, it's eight crit total. So, three of the Holder Hedgehogs are shinies, and one of them is the Polish Penguin, or Polish Penguin. Polish or Polish? Polish. Polish. So <laughs> we're gonna say Polish. Are you Polish? Uh, it's just a, it's a crit. Uh, I would I have the last holder hedgehog, but Polish penguin OP. So um, and then lastly, four copies of Castanet Donkey. Um, he helps you. He's your Marvel clone, so he helps you fix columns. And if you need soul, he can give it to you. Um, you don't really need soul a lot in this deck, uh, but the fact that it's available to you is still good. And then also taking it on damage is always a plus. Um, then for the G-Zone, we have one copy of Omniscient's Dragon Afunk, SGR. So his skill is you can counterblast one, turn a card in G-Zone face up, and then he gets, uh, for every rear guard you pick with his ability, so you choose any number, he gets plus 4k, and then the rear guard you chose get red text, this cannot be retired by card effects for the turn. So what that means is you can dope the shit out of everything and it's not gonna die, uh, it's really funny against um, Kagero because they can go, or, you know, Grand Blue, because then they can go, all right, I'm going to Denial Griffin. K. Well, shit. You know? And then on top of that, he gets really big. If you have a full field, he gets plus 20k, which means that they're probably just going to take it. It's a really solid first stride, and, uh, yeah, I like him a lot. You're also running one Air Element Sea Breeze because this is a stride deck, and also he's typically your flip target for Alphonse, so... Uh, one copy of Omniscient's Dragon Hrimthers. So at the end of the battle that uh, he attacks, you Soul Blast 1, pick a rear guard, and you can give it, you give it 4k. Then you can have it gain another 4k, and if it's at 20,000 or more after you do that, you draw a card. So 
there's a, a misconception which I myself believed for a while that if it was at 20k at the end of the turn when it when the thing you picked retires you get the draw but no it's gotta happen right there so pick dope dope again if it's a 20 or more draw then you kill it at the end so this is great if you don't have any counter blasts and it's a soul blast cost so who cares um and he's your other first try typically aside from a funk one copy of omniscient stride infernitus also the sgr um so he's got uh, plus 4k for every rear guard that you have. And then the other skill is GB3. When he's put in your G zone, you can counter blast, soul blast, retire all your rear guards, and then for each thing that you retire, you unflip, soul charge, and draw a card. So this thing is like a deck out machine. But what you want to use it for is A, if you have a like handful of, car of crap and you need like a, a do over. This thing's great because you can go, all right, I'm gonna call some draw triggers, kill them off, draw three cards. Uh, it's great if you have like no unflips or you know no counter blast and you need to like a redo and you just can't really do anything. He's fine for that. Um, if you use Sea Breeze and you need an unflip target for a funk, he's fine for that. Um, I really wish he didn't give you a soul charge. If it was just unflip and draw cards, I'd be super happy, but whatever, you can't win them all. Uh, two copies of Omniscient's Dragon Kill Timka. Sorry, I keep forgetting his name, but he's the rare stride from Trinity Dragon. Uh, his skill is um, success 25k, and then when he becomes successful, you choose... How many cards is it again? Uh, you choose four cards from your drop, put them on the bottom of your deck in any order, and then you pick something and give it a dope and a life insurance. So this is to make sure you don't deck out. It's also for, like, oh, I'm not going to have Counter Blast to do stuff with my strides because it's all for Crayon Tiger. He's just useful. Um... It's always fun to just like put four crits to the bottom and then draw some cards and then crit them next turn. Uh, it's probably gonna come out when we get, you know, the, like one of them's coming out for the GB8, I guarantee it. But honestly, it's like for a wrist, right? It's good on its own. It's a good budget option. I honestly didn't really think about it until it came out in English. Uh, two copies of Omniscient Strike and Managarm. So this has been around since GBT02. Uh, you counter blast, flip a copy. Uh, if after you do that you got uh, two cards in G-Zone, you pick two rear guards, give them 4k, and then red text when they attack. If they're at 20k or more, your opponent can't draw a group one or higher. So this is one way to finish. I think you um, doing it, and then as you're doing it, the thing with the kids happens. Well, the thing with the kids. What thing with the kids? Um, when the kids left the party. Okay, I remember that. What? Yeah. No, the way our godless novas are united. Context. Um, we were at a party last night, and it was fucking insane, and... Randomly at some point, two people walk out with like, kids that are asleep, and they take them to their vans. We're like, what? <laughs> These kids are here the whole time? Like, so just in one of the bedrooms, there were a couple of sleeping children, while yeah. people had been getting drunk, doing drugs, fucking jumping off of rooftops into the pool, <laughs> scuba diving, <laughs> it was... It was it was, it was a crazy fucking party. Nexus Core in no way endorses jumping off of rooftops into pools. Um, so, I don't care, it makes me laugh. So, uh, so the, th the things you pick for the ability, uh, get plus 4k, and then if they're at grade one or higher, or when it attacks Vanguard, if it's a, uh, your opponent can't draw a grade one or higher if it's at 20k or more. Uh, this got hampered somewhat by G-Guards, because uh, your opponent can go, all right, G-Guard, well, fuck. Um, but it is good if your opponent has low hand, and it it's still pretty good. It's good at wearing them down. It's probably not going to be your finisher nine times out of ten, but it's still a solid card. So, good too. Um, four copies of Sage Saint Professor Big Belly. Class is in session, bitches. So his skill is GB2. You counterblast one, flip up a copy. You... Uh, pick a rear guard, and it gets plus 4k for everything in G-Zone. So pretty much everything in here flips. Uh, with a font on its own, if you did that first, because you probably will have, uh, doing Big Belly Second Stride gives something plus 12k, which is nothing to sneeze at. And then if you G-guard it, if you went into other stuff, it's going to get bigger and bigger. And then you can pick any unit, so himself or someone else, and you give it the skill. When it hits Vanguard, you choose the same number of other rear guards as uh, cards in G-Zone and stand them. So nine times out of ten, you're gonna give this to the thing you doped because you're you're gonna go attack with the or you know attack with Vanguard, attack with the thing. They guard that. 
attack with Crayon Tiger, restand. Attack again. If they're not dead by that point and you hit them, you can go, all right, stand, 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 attack again. Like, it, it's a really good uh, stride. Um, I don't know what else. I don't really need to sing its praises anymore. It's just a good card. Uh, two copies of Head of Bashkin or Gillow. So, uh, when you guard with him, you can choose any number of rear guards and retire them. And then if you have three or more op open spaces after doing that, he gets plus, plus 10k shield. Mo the way Great Nature works, most of the time you're going to have three open spaces, so this is pretty free. Um, yeah, I, it's pretty free. And then the other two things are two copies of Kundalini. So Kundalini is when you guard with him, you pick a rear guard, and you give it red text at the end of the at the end of this turn, uh, retire it and unflip. And if you gave something that skill, he gets plus five k shield. So these are both really solid G guards. Um, I found myself not really using Dismal as much, and you know wanting the unflip, so I put the other Kundalini back in. And I don't really f I don't have a reason to run the new one we got in Trinity Dragon because I don't run old Big Belly, which is pretty much what that's for. So yeah, and you don't need Screw because this is free as hell. So yeah, those are the the four G guards, and they're fine. So that was the new deck. Uh, I do have, like, a more, you know, success variant, which I'll put that up eventually, but I don't really enjoy using it as much. But, yeah. So rate, comment, subscribe. We'll see you next time.